Well, all right. Hello, everybody. I figured I'd make another short video on uh, these two-stroke EMDs and their turbochargers and what makes them so special. So uh, we have a couple 645 F7B 12 and 16 cylinder EMDs going in for overhaul. And if you didn't know, uh, these EMDs are two-stroke locomotive engines. And because of their two-stroke nature, they require a turbocharger. And uh, that's because they're, they're not able to scavenge the exhaust gas out of the cylinders on their own. They require forced induction for that. So let me show you the turbocharger and what makes it so special. All right, so here's the turbocharger here. And the exhaust gas enters through the circular port there and exits through the rectangular one. Now, when these engines are running in a low speed, or in this application because they're generators, a low load condition. What makes this turbocharger so special is that clutch in between the cam gears. So that's actually a clutch. You can see it's driven from the cam gears and we'll go take a closer look at that. So here we are taking a closer look at this clutch. Again, you can see it's driven from the cam gears right here on the back of the engine or I guess more specifically the left bank cam gear. So what this clutch does is when the engine's under low load, so 900 RPM, but a low load, so there isn't the, the governor isn't commanding the, a lot of, a lot of uh, engine work, uh, this clutch is engaged. So meaning that the cam gear, the engine is driving the turbocharger itself. So the turbocharger is not free spinning. It's actually acting as a supercharger or correct terminology, a blower. Now, what happens when the engine in a, a, a variable speed application, when the engine speed comes up, or in this application, when the load increases and there's enough exhaust gas to freewheel the turbocharger, that releases. And then the turbocharger acts like a turbocharger. So we'll take a closer look again. So again, here's the turbocharger assembly in the front of the gear drive. That is where the clutch would come in and drive the turbocharger. And up here we have the mechanism that engages and disengages said clutch. Uh, when the turbocharger is clutched in at low load, the charge air comes out through the charge air cooler, which is passing the, hot, the heated gas over engine coolant and then out into the air boxes, one on each side. When the load increases, that clutch disengages and no longer drives this gear here and the turbocharger is able to freewheel. So anyway, hope you learned something. Hope you appreciate the video. There's your injector and valve bridges cam and the engine so if you have any questions or you want to see more of these engines uh, check out my channel content i get a bunch of them uh, a bunch of videos of these engines and ones like them running so thanks again for watching take it easy and i'll see you next time